Hello, I'm Max. And my name's Jay. And on this train journey, we'll be showing you all you need to know about the journey from Jasper to Prince Rupert, which is possibly Canada's most scenic rail route. Indeed. And we start a journey here in Jasper, and as one of Via Rail's Rockies and Pacific train journeys, the Jasper to Prince Rupert, or what is formerly known as the Skeena, is a two day trip along 1,160 kilometres of what is arguably Canada's, if not one of the world's most breathtaking rail routes. And with this train, it's what you can see and experience on your way from A to B is truly something to behold. So let us go right ahead and show you a bit more. So, to start off with, the Jasper de Prince Rupert does exactly what it says on the tin, heading north from Jasper through its incredible surrounding natural park, into the Rockies through its mountain passes and past its raging rivers, before arriving in Prince George for an overnight stop. And from Prince George, your onwards journey continues with what some regard as possibly Canada's most scenic, natural and wild rail journey. As you roll through the thriving lumber and mining communities of Terrace and Smithers, coasting past meadows, valleys and the salmon-rich Skeena River, into the incredible Seven Sisters mountain range, where mountains rise in front of you, cliffs tower above you and rivers run alongside you, before eventually reaching the Pacific coast and the tranquility of Prince Rupert. You can't need class allows you to travel in complete relaxation and comfort, whilst remaining affordable to all. Your ticket reserves you a spacious seat surrounded by a large picture window in one of Via Rail's traditional 1950s stainless steel rail cars. And if you can, why not go all out on your Canadian adventure by upgrading your ticket to a touring class ticket? With touring class, you retain all of the perks of economy class, but also receive free meals a day, including coffee, tea, and a wine with dinner, and of course, access to the Via Park car, all included in your ticket. And remember, all Via Rail services are non-smoking to guarantee everyone's journey is a pleasurable one. So save it for the great outdoors. So, the park car, or what Via refer to as their flagship car, allows you to take in Canada's finest scenery in complete 360 degree glory. Add comfortable seating to the mix and you'll find it hard to leave the upper deck at all. To so sit back with a refreshment, have your camera ready, however much of an enthusiast you are, and experience Canada exactly as Via Rail intended. And probably you. Below the dome is a stylish lounge complete with sofas and panoramic windows. Beyond this is the bullet lounge, again with seating throughout and complete with refreshments. So really, you're spoiled for choice when deciding where you want to spend your journey. Wherever you choose though, the park car is sure to offer you not only an altogether relaxing, sociable and picturesque experience, but most importantly, a memorable one. And if gliding through it all isn't enough, you can even hop off the train at any point to continue your adventures into British Columbia. Just request the stop you wish to get off at with one of the VIA staff, and they'll make sure the train stops at your desired destination. And with so much to see and do out there, it's a popular choice. Just make sure to plan your trip so you can hop back on as and when the Jasper Prince Rupert is passing. The train travels this route in both directions three times a week, all year round, so you can join your Via Rail adventure at whichever is more convenient. The route allows daylight viewing of all that rural northern British Columbia has to offer. Remember you're not on it overnight, so you don't miss anything whilst you sleep, and more importantly, remember to book a room in Prince George. The Jasper of Prince Rupert can become part of a much bigger adventure across Canada. For those that arrive in Jasper, you can either continue your journey across the ferries on the Canadian, or for those that arrive in Prince Rupert, you can take a ferry to Alaska, Vancouver Island, or Haida Gwaii. In fact, one of the highlights of our trip was a boat ride from Prince Rupert up into the incredible Kootamatine Grizzly Bear Sanctuary, just off the coast of Alaska. Here, a vast and beautiful river estuary lined with forest and mountains is home to dozens of wild grizzly bears and their cubs. 
A trip here is one of the few places in the world that you can get this close to wild grizzlies in their natural habitat. And with the estuary being their main source of hydration, you're more or less guaranteed to witness a safe yet close encounter with one or more of these incredible animals. Wow, I have to say that was brilliant. Me and Joe's has done a journey from Jasper to Prince Rupert and now look right by the seaside, right by the coast. And have to say, on the way we had an exceptional service. We saw breathtaking wildlife, scenery, views, the full works. And I must admit, I've never felt so laid back. Completely agree. And the fact it was so much more than just a journey from A to B. Everyone was completely immersed in it, sharing their stories, where they've been, where they were going. And the staff knew so much, the history of the towns we were passing through, sharing their stories, where it was good to take a picture along the route or film. And I think that was its core strength and what made it really enjoyable for us. And even if you're travelling on a budget with economy class or going all out with touring class, Beer have really got a ticket and a train for every traveller. And I think that's Canada at its finest. So remember, it's not just a journey, it's an adventure. And it's yours to explore. Thank you. 